Hi everyone! As you're probably aware, there are plenty of ocean liner books out there. In fact, there are so many of them that you could fill an entire library of them. Each of them covers the subject through different perspective and, have all, and they all have their point of difference. But the one that I'm going to show you stands out from the rest and comes highly recommended for you to include in your maritime library. And this book is Ocean Liner, an Illustrated History, well, Ocean Liners, an Illustrated History by Peter Newball. This book has been published by Seaforth Publishing, who specialize in maritime subjects. And this particular book was the first of a series of four books that deal with similar maritime subjects. The others were tramp steamers, cargo liners, and coasters. The author of this book is Peter Newall, who has written some fantastic company histories, including the Cunard Line and Orient Line, both books which I intend to review a little further down the track. Many traditional ocean liner histories focus on the major players, the European North Atlantic lines, but this book is a global perspective. It covers not just the English, the American, the French, and the German, and the Italian, but it looks at all other countries that ran liners throughout most of the 20th and even beyond in the 19th centuries. So we don't just get your North Atlantic liners, we also get a history of the ships that ran for Japanese lines, for Argentine lines, for Spanish, Portuguese, Australian vessels. The multitude of ships that are covered in this book give a global perspective of the technological phenomena that was the ocean liner. And, as is typical with Seaforth Publishing, all the photos are of a beautiful quality. So here's one. Is it the New Zealand? Yes. So this is the Dutch line in New Zealand, sailing past Sydney, uh, just before the bridge was open. So this was dated to about 1931. All the photos in here are of supreme high quality. And so here you go, you've got another one here. You've got up there, you've got, uh, t you've got two Dutch vessels showing off their mayor form bows. You've got a Japanese vessel and then you've got a little uh, French one down here on the bottom corner. The information that is covered in this book is limited to extensive captions, as you can see on this particular entry for the Union steamer Awatia, which was the New Ze which was New Zealand's incredible liner of the late 1930s. It is detailed and covers the broad history of either the line, the nation, and in particular the ship itself. Anything a lot more detailed? Is reserved for an individual book on the subject. But in the interests of space, Peter has done a fantastic job of compressing a whole heap of knowledge into these captions. And, oh yeah. and rest assured, it's not only the obscure vessels that are covered, there is some coverage of some of the famous ones, such as over here, the Orient Lines Oriana, and then over here you've got the almost nuclear-powered Leonardo da Vinci. Highly recommended that this book and the others in this series should go on your bookshelves. This is more than just a Eurocentric look at ocean liners, but rather a global perspective, complemented by some absolutely beautiful, crisp photographs and information about ships that have otherwise been forgotten to history. So for all of the above, this is truly a solid five captain's hats. Highly recommended and absolutely put this on your shelves.